so the scene is set. It's Italy against Argentina, the World Cup semi-final, the first semi-final of Italia 90. And away we go. Lata Cachea for Argentina. Locked rather long and hopefully for Tunisia. And that will be a push by Ruggieri. Maradona puts the ball in the net to whistles of derision from the Naples fans. He doesn't get that too often on this ground. But as I was telling you right at the start of the programme, tonight they're not Maradona fans, they're very much Italy fans. Luchaga and Kinesia working a nice little one too and then releasing Bazoir now. Kinesia makes an interesting forward run. Colleagues didn't really read it, but Argentina still have it. Here's Bazoir, no Luchaga, he'll let one go, that's a good shot for Saka. Had to be sharp. Whoa! Danger from Argentina. That's a great bit of stuff there. Bikes it really quickly with great power. It's a great save from Zenka. It's good, it's good play from Argentina and they're looking quite lively in the early stages. Scilacci, nice ball. Good football, Viali knocking it off. Here's Giannini breaking through and Viali saved by Gokutin. And Scilacci has done it again. Italy are ahead. 17 minutes gone. And Toto strikes again. Italy won. Argentina nil. The host nation could be on their way to the final. Another chance to see it. Viali with the astute little knock-in. Giannini did very well here. Flicked it over Simon. Nodded it on. There was confusion in the ranks. Viali got a shot in. Scilacci it was, who was there on the rebound when Goico Chea couldn't hold it. Argentina coming away. Is this the night that Argentina's luck runs out? Scalacci's almost in again there. And at the moment, Argentina look a little bit disorganised. Here's De Napoli letting one go. Didn't really get hold of it. And knew it. Giannini played a big part in the goal, coming forward again. Feeding this one out wide. Donadoni laid back. And this is not could be number two. But De Agostini, he's better on the left foot than that right one and it fell quite a long way wide in the end. Luchaga to Canesia, much more open game than we expected, and that's been brought about by Italy going ahead. Canesia laying it inside for Diego Maradona, who turns, how about that? Superb skills from the world's number one footballer. He just produced a shot out of thin air there. Yeah, that's a little bit more like it because if you see that beforehand, he checked to go to the far post and he was played in there and a great bit of skill to get that volley away. Here's Basualdo, let's just see what happens with this attack. Kinesia, Italy back, Kinesia tries one. But Zenga was always watching it very comfortably indeed. Salvatore Scilacci, the goal scorer, as Italy take a 1-0 lead against Argentina in the World Cup semi-final. Simon hits his long, Kinesia gets his head to it. Zenga has been a goalkeeper of massive authority though all the way through the championships. Now here's Jorge Bruchaga for Argentina. Justi and Trollio. Maradona with a chance maybe to let one go. This could be the chance, Bruchaga rather wasted it. Olata Kachea with that effort, which Zenga had to beat away, and for the first time there, really, Italy didn't look too organised in the defence, and look at them shouting, Donadoni saying, come on, let's concentrate. Challenging Argentina to come and get the game back. Now here's a bit of a chance for Kinesia, could this be the equaliser, twisting, turning, and it bounces off the defender, and wide, and Zenga is furious with his defenders, and frankly, Italy were lucky. This broke to Bruchaga. He nodded it across intelligently for Kinesia, who cut inside, and that just caught Baresi's foot. Otherwise, it may well be 1 1. Corner kick to Argentina. It goes a long way across. Sengas missed it on the cross. And there's a little bit of nastiness between him and Ruggieri down there. Zenga with plenty to say, but I tell you what, Zenga's been getting all kinds of rave notices, but I noticed when uh, Italy played England in a friendly last December, he didn't look very happy on crosses that night either. And look at that. 
That's terrible goalkeeping, really, isn't it, Jerry? Yeah, he's taken his eye off the ball as he's come to catch it and completely missed it. Maradona's passing, quite astute. Now Maradona again, he's becoming pretty influential here. He's made a run into the box this time. Canisius there with the back header, and it's a goal! Argentina are level. Italy have conceded their first goal of the World Cup. Maybe it was coming too. And Claudio Canizia, the man who undid Brazil, has suddenly thrown this World Cup semi-final wild open. Yeah, Maradona plays it out wide, I think. Olata Cacea's oh, ball in. Just played and Canizia just gets there in front of Zengo, goes to punch it. But it was coming, you know, we spoke about it just earlier. That's a great little jump by him, Zengo was nowhere there. Lovely touch by Maradona, great touch to Bruchaga. And canisia has got room. Only Baresi to beat, but then a crowd of Italian defenders. Canizia again hits the floor, wants the free kick. The referee will have none of it at all. Now Donadoni on the overlap is Diagostini. Here he is. Serena's in there, Diagostini. Important save by Goicochea. Both sides there looking dangerous as play switched from one end to the other. Goicochea had his angles covered pretty well there. And breaking on that far side is Basualdo. Shown good energy to get forward from his midfield position. Bruchaga's on the far post here. Canisius there as well. Bruchaga gets in the header. But thankfully for Italy, with neither power nor direction. Trollio. As the referee blows his whistle to end the 90 minutes of normal action. High drama here after 90 minutes of the World Cup semi-final. Italy won, Argentina, who just kicked off extra time, won. Slightly more anyway in the second half of normal time. But Italy coming back a little bit. Here's Baggio. Free kick. Here's little Baggio. The rock star Madonna, by the way, saying that she wants his shirt after the tournament. Maybe Ferry's going to try his luck this time. He is. Took a deflection off Serena and Goicochea to come across pretty sharply. Well, there's another chance to see it. See, it bounces off. In fact, it was a defender's foot and that was going in. Yeah, Agostini and Maldini again. Nice work from him. Cut inside to Baggio. Baggio lets one go. Wasn't a million miles away, but I think the keeper had it covered. Seemed to be uh, spinning away from me on the outside of the foot there, yeah. But uh, worth a go. Donadoni. This way, and then he's got room for the shot if he can get it on that left foot. Donadoni still going on, fouled by Trollio. Who's going to hit it? Maybe Baggio to curl one, is it? He tries it. Oh, I think it might have just touched the bar, and Goikache got half a hand on it as well. Corner kick, great effort by the world's most expensive footballer, Roberto Baggio. Great save by Goicuccia. Better watch this, watch this corner first. Italy pressure mounting. Goicuccia doesn't get this one though. Salasuela, an important defensive header. De Napoli. De Agostini tries one and it goes wide. And maybe we'll get a chance now to have a look at just how close Baggio was. Well, oh, that was a great save. Bergami hits this one long. And now we have a player down, I think it's Baggio. There was an off-the-ball off the incident. Off-the-ball incident. Augusti. Now then, Juisti's already been booked. Augusti and Baggio. I'm not, I'm not so sure he touched Maradona's it. Maradona's having a lot to say, Bergami's having a lot to say. And this, at the moment, is getting very, very volatile. Well, if it was Juisti, he could be sent off here. There's Juisti. He's smiling about it. And he's got the red card. He's got the red card. Maradona's furious. And a typically mazy little run, Serena. Back to De Agostini. Takes a deflection off Baggio, who's offside anyway. Baggio was offside there as it hits his foot. And 
it has cost Italy a little bit. Now Maradona on one of those runs of his. Look at this. Still Maradona. And oh! Lanta Kachea coming forward from the defence. Hill one, two from one foot to the other. Pushed his way through a little bit there, but good little layoff. Should have done better with that. What a great chance. Baggio. And that's it. We are going to have a penalty shootout to decide who goes into the World Cup final. It's going to be Franco Baresi for Italy. So Italy to go first. Baresi for Italy with the penalty kick. Up against Goico Chea. Scores. 1-0 Italy. Jose Sarasuela of River Plate. Listen to the crowd. They're really trying to put him off. Oh, Zinga got a hand to it. But it goes in anyway. The pressure is absolutely enormous on them here. It's Baggio next for Italy. Takes a deep breath. Gojko Chea, who made important saves in the shootout with Yugoslavia. Here's Baggio. Oh, Gojko Chea so nearly saved that. The last two now have very, very nearly been saved. Here it is again. Gojko Chea got a hand to it, but could only help it into the corner of the net. This time it's Jorge Bruchaga. For Argentina, he scored in this situation against Yugoslavia. And I think Zenga will have noticed the way he hit it. And he hit it the same way, and he scored again. It's 2-2. That was very cool, that, Ian. Unbearable tension. And we're English. Imagine what it's like to be an Italian in this stadium. De Agostini does it. The relief is enormous. Nobody's missed so far. It's going to be Olata Kachea, I think, to take this next one. Yep, Julio Olata Kachea. And he does it as well. Didn't really get hold of it. Now, Roberto Donadoni, the star of Milan. He's had a good game. Donadoni. And he saved it. Goiko Chea has saved it. A terrible moment for Donadoni. There wasn't an awful lot wrong with the penalty, but maybe it was just at a height that the goalkeeper could get to it, Jerry. Now, Diego Maradona of Napoli in Napoli. And this time he does it. This time he does it. He missed against Yugoslavia. Tonight he puts it away. Aldo Serena, he's got to score this, otherwise Italy are out. And he doesn't, and it's all over. The host nation's dream of reaching the World Cup final ends. You could weep for them. Naples is awash and drowning in tears of disappointment. Argentina are into the World Cup final, the champions.